they're going to try to get us to work for as little pay as possible. And then they're going to keep bringing in new people who aren't aware of how things work. And they'll naively just take all those orders. Hi everyone, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. That way you'll be notified when I come out with new content. Today is July 31st and Valdistot's voice initiated this day of rest from DoorDash because he was frustrated to see that Brandy was giving up doing DoorDash because of all the hassle and low pay and non-trip transparency. So I unfortunately am still off of DoorDash anyway since February. Hopefully that'll change soon. I am on Uber Eats, so let's get out there and make some money today and just see how busy it is. Today's video I'm recording on my Roav dash cam and it has forward looking and rear looking video. And let's see, hopefully the audio quality will be decent and let's see how we do. I promise you it's not going to be a long video. All right, let's get going. I'm going online. The sound of happiness saying, give me money. All right, let's see what happens. We have a 1.1 multiplier. Whoa, $13. Yee, 15 miles. All right, I got to go down there anyway. Let's do it. All right, this will be a good order. And I will be editing out the video because um, I do talk to you and share all the details of the customer, what I'm doing, and everything. That way, if someone ever tries to do a false report that I didn't deliver the food, I'll have this video. But for you watching this on YouTube, obviously, I'm going to cut that out. All right, so I have a barbecue order and it is going 15 miles. I'm going to do a screenshot of the initial order and then a screenshot of what the customer ordered. How's it going? I have a Postmates for Enderby. Wow, right. awesome. Thanks a lot. All right, that was quick. As you saw, I put my uh, order in that Instacart bag. So the Instacart bags do come in handy. And I just put a cardboard cutout in there to help uh, keep it steady. All right, let's get going. All right, here's a fun order. This gentleman has the wrong address in the app and uh, wants me to deliver it to a different location. So I'll get off up here and turn around. Customer yeah, he texted me saying the address in the app was wrong, and so he gave me a different address. So I want to call and make sure that you know I don't don't get accused of any bad things. Yep, and I'll have video footage of the drop-off, too, just in case the customer says something. Okay, that's fine. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate your help. All right, so that's high risk for getting fired, and I am not going to get fired off of Uber Eats over a customer. At this point, I don't care about the extra pay. I don't care. I do care about the tip, but the tip should actually go up. Uh, but this order is high risk, and so I'm going to have my dash cam. I already have the body cam. I'm definitely going to be wearing that. It is pretty sad when you think about it that we should be focused on making money and providing good customer service, but in the background, I'm always thinking, wow, how could I get fired and how to not let that happen? And I definitely always want to make sure the customer is happy they don't need to know that I'm afraid of getting fired. So here's the house. You know, just talking about the day of rest that Valdistot's voice started or initiated, um, I definitely support the drivers uniting and working together, communicating together. I know in general strikes don't really matter and they may hurt the company a little bit, but 
there's probably not going to be any lasting impact from a strike. Plus, there's a lot of people you'd have to get involved on board, and I think that's going to be really difficult. But I am absolutely all for the drivers keeping in touch with each other and publicizing information like that, um, airing our displeasures with the variety of food delivery companies. That way they're held accountable for their actions in the court of public opinion. I think the public opinion, uh, we can affect a lot more than strikes. So I'm definitely all for the day of rest and just showing our displeasure at how DoorDash is treating its drivers with low pay, hiding tips. It is ridiculous. If you think about it, we're independent contractors, so why shouldn't we have all the information up front so then we can decide to deliver or not? And again, Valdestat's voice did a good breakdown on DoorDash's financials, basically showing that they're not profitable and every 50 cents is I'm making it up, say, a million dollars or more to that company. So they're going to try to get us to work for as little pay as possible. And then they're going to keep bringing in new people who aren't aware of how things work. And they'll naively just take all those orders expecting uh, some kind of high pay. And it's not going to happen. So on this day of rest, I'll do Uber Eats. Um, if I did have DoorDash, uh, if I was still active on there, I would adhere to it and take the day of rest as well. All right, hopefully we'll get an order. I know on a Saturday, usually it's quite busy and I should be getting a lot. So just because there's a heat map and the fake 425 next trip minimum surge, I don't believe it. I believe it when you get the trip request, the ride or the uh, food delivery offer, whatever you want to call it. So I am going to strategically relocate. I need to go somewhere else to uh, run an errand. And I like to call it going fishing. See what orders I get on the way. Back in a little bit. It is slow. I brought up Instacart. There's a $30.83 but it's 71 units, 969. All right, let's do it. This is an order uh, to a sandwich place, 969, 5.2 miles. Hopefully I'll make more with food delivery. Plus I kind of don't really want to do Instacart right now. I mean, I'll leave it on if it's slow, but I'll be selective on the order. But guaranteed if there's nothing on food delivery, then I'll take an Instacart order, because otherwise I'm just sitting here doing nothing. Alright, so what I'm going to do is screenshot this Uber Eats information, that way I have a record of the restaurant and the person's name, and then I just go in and screenshot their order too. That way I have as much documentation as possible. All right, I'm going to go in and get this order for Denise, and I'll be right back. And sometimes I hide my phone right here. It's sad when there's one car and that must mean obviously you have to work. <laughs> Alright, as you saw on the body cam, that delivery went smoothly. And I am off to this next order. It was $8 something for a liquor store delivery. And I forget how many miles. Alright, that was a smooth pickup. Dan has his uh, bottle of tequila. And I still put all the orders in my insulated bags. It makes the customers happy to show that you care to take care of their items. I do like the alcohol orders in the afternoons, not the mornings. 
uh, tips tend to usually be good. How's it going? Awesome. Well, have a good rest of your weekend. Thank you, sir. All right, well, you saw that delivery went smoothly, talked about the Olympics, and I declined an order that came in right as I was trying to verify his ID. It was $6 for like eight miles. Forget it. I'm not doing that. All right, so I have that on body cam, and that's just to protect me in case, you know, someone says I didn't do what I was supposed to. One good thing doing food delivery is I know where all the restrooms are. So I'm going to go to a Chipotle where I know the bathroom's in the back and no issues getting in there. It's always good to uh, have a little comfort break every now and then. Wow. <laughs> so that order that I did from the barbecue place and it was the wrong address so they redirected me. I got an upfront tip of a dollar fifty. I got a dollar fifty tip from that customer. Wow. <laughs> I guess it's better than no money, no tip, but wow. For all that extra hassle, couldn't throw a five dollar tip on there. Unreal. People are something. But it's not worth getting frustrated. Just smile and uh, do more deliveries. On to the next. At least I still have a 99% uh, satisfaction rate. I always get scared when orders don't go right. Um, I check my, my ratings to see. Because usually they'd like to uh, get you with that right away. All right, be right back. It is 2.22. And as I was removing my phone from my pocket, I accepted an order, and it happened to be to 7-Eleven, $4. I don't even know what else, but uh, I guess I'm going to do that order. It'll be an experiment. For Danielle. All right, Danielle, what are you getting? Some Slurpees? Please, no Slurpees. Bunch of candy, chips, Coke, alcohol. All right, this could be a good one. I hope she tips. But if it's a $4 payout, let's hope that tip comes after. All right, this is my uh, charitable deed for the day. She just messaged me the room that she's in. So hopefully she was also messaging me that she has a cash tip that she wants to give me. I would say, of course, absolutely do a cash tip. Appreciate it. Oh yeah, how about that cash tip? Five dollars, that is awesome. Off, there was a lady and a gentleman there. I did get a five dollar cash tip as you saw on the body cam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I also accepted a Chipotle order for seven something. It was four miles, so I'm headed there now. It is 2.54, I am back in the car after the burrito pickup. And I'm delivering it to a hotel. This is Jack. Oh. Oh, sorry, wrong room. That's okay. Thanks, Jack. Have a good day. See ya. 18, I quickly finished my errand. I'm switching over. I got a $60 Instacart. It's two orders, 20 miles, and it's in the direction that I want to go anyway. This is irises on top, and then Abel on the bottom, including the watermelons. Oh, it's hot. But that $60 goes a long way towards making me feel okay. Hi, Iris. I'm Russ. How's it going?
Chad. I'll just bring all this stuff and yeah, take a yeah. picture of it if that's cool. Good. Another order, 6.7 miles. All right, let's just do it. All right, welcome back at 6.03. I actually took an add-on order for $6 at a sushi place for another, I think it was four and a half miles. Del Taco is pretty good. Yum. Six fifty four. This is likely my last order, and it's from Red Robin to Chloe. It says, "Do not ring. Do not knock." All right. All right, welcome back. This rounds off the evening. I did a total of eight trips on Uber Eats and one on Instacart, even though it was two batches. That is a grand total of... $135. $135, and I drove 107 miles and it's 709 we'll just say six hours so 135 divided by six my average dropped down to 22 and a half dollars earlier it was 23 before i took this last one but it's all good all right when you get a chance check out dash or passes youtube channel she's got five subs if you like her content consider subscribing and i hope that you enjoyed your day of rest away from doordash and hopefully made some money on the other apps until I see you in my next video, take care. Bye.